So MasterCard has been a pioneer in open banking for last 20 years. In the U.S., we acquired a company called Finicity, who are a leader in lending use case in the U.S. We also expanded our footprint in the Europe market through acquisition of Aya, and we are present in multiple markets where we are offering connectivity, payments, and uh, other services. We have also expanded our services in Australia, where we are um, now offering our services there as well. Um, we are currently working on improving our product stack and offering more advanced solutions in both US and Europe, as well as looking more opportunistically at opportunities across the world, including markets like Brazil, India, Middle East and Africa, and Colombia. So I see a close collaboration between banks and fintechs to enable open finance. Just yesterday, I was talking to someone who is working on a product that would enable the banks to deduct uh, the payment amount, the payment amount for their credit card, consumers' credit card bills directly from consumers' uh, income. I think so that's a great example of how fintechs and banks can come together to bring solutions that are innovative for everyone. So in terms of the economic environment, everyone understands, knows that there is tightening in the economic situation globally. We have seen Federal Reserve in the U.S. Uh, increasing interest rates significantly. Some of the banks in the U.S., regional banks, uh, have fallen more recently. So I think that for the near term, for the next year or so, the economic environment would be tight and the investments would be somewhat limited. But I do think that open finance is the future and it would definitely involve more, attract more investments in future. So for 2023, I think um, there are two regions in particular that I think are moving quite significantly at rapid pace uh, within open finance. One is LATAM and the other one is Middle East and Africa. We have some regulations that are expected in Saudi Arabia, which is a big market in Middle East and Africa. Brazil has recently launched open insurance. Colombia, we heard that they are working on um, a regulation. So I think those two regions to me are, are the hottest markets globally.